वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सिम एंड रीम इंस्ट्रक्शन इन दिस वीडियो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स सिम एंड रीम इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट आर यूज फॉर मल्टीपल पर्पज आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल गेट टू नो दैट सिम एंड रीम इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट आर यूज फॉर सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन in that we can send data by using sim instruction and we can receive data by using rim instruction as well as sim and rim instructions that is been used to set interrupt status as well as to read interrupt status so how to have all those things let us try to understand that step by step so my dear students first of all i'll be explaining you sim instruction in 8085 sim means set interrupt mask so here we are deal with to set interrupt mask by using sim instruction in which we need to see how command is there with sim instruction and it is operated along with accumulator so first of all you will have to load the value of accumulator that will be your command after that you will have to write sim instruction For example, if I write M V I A comma C one hacks, in that case you can say C one that is getting loaded into accumulator. So that will be now command for sim instruction. So after that, if you execute sim, then this C one hacks that is one one zero 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 one that will be command which will be given as per sim instruction. So let us see how command is there with sim instruction. So my dear students, that command is of eight bits, and you can observe all those eight bits. See S O D that is my D seven bit, that is serial out data bit, and this S D E that is serial data enable bit, where you will be enabling serial communication first. after that you can send data serially so if this is equals to 1 in that case we are enabling serial communication after that you can send 0 or 1 from here and this 5 bits that is there to set up interrupt where you see this m 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 that is to set mask of interrupt we have already seen hardware interrupt of 8085 in that rst 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 that were there that we can mask by using this three bits that even we have already seen in its structure of interrupt and to enable mask this msc bit is there and this r 7.5 bit that is to reset interrupt rst 7.5 so let us see all those bits step by step so here as i have told you this three bits m 7.5 m 6.5 and m 5.5 that is to mask interrupt so here if it is 1 then we are masking that interrupt and if it is 0 then we are not masking that interrupt and that will be don't care as if msc is equals to 0 so first of all we need to set interrupt mask by this bit so you will be observing if this bit is equals to 1 then we are enabling masking if it is equals to 0 in that case we cannot do anything with this three bits let us say you are having this bit is equals to 1 and let us say you are writing 001 over here so what it means here we are masking rst 5.5 hardware interrupt right and if values are zero then we are not masking that interrupt but for that it is very compulsory that you will have to make sure this msc bit that should be equals to 1 that will enable masking of this three bits now this r 7.5 that is to reset rst 7.5 interrupt if you see my video based on complete structure of interrupt in that we have seen rst 7.5 interrupt is age trigger interrupt and after generation of interrupt there was d flip flop and clear terminal of that d flip flop was 
connected with reset RST 7.5 and by having that reset we can clear that flip flop right so if interrupt is pending then also we can clear that flip flop for that that bit was connected there right so if this bit is equals to 1 then you can reset RST 7.5 interrupt where you can clear that D flip flop which was there in that structure and if it is 0 then we don't reset that you can have execution of that interrupt as if it is pending and as I have explained this SD that is serial data enable if it is equals to 1 then we are enabling serial data communication and if it is equals to 0 then we are disabling that serial data communication and if this bit is equals to 1 then that is enabled in that case here we can transmit that 0 or 1 if it is equals to 0 in that case we transmit 0 over here provided 1 is over here and if it is having 1 over here provided 1 over here in that case we are transmitting 1 serially right and this will be don't care as if this bit is equals to 0. So my dear students this is all about sim command which explains you two things one is serial communication and second is set interrupt mask. Now I will be going to explain you what will happen with RIM instruction in 8085. RIM is read interrupt mask. So here we will be reading interrupt mask and that is also operating along with accumulator. When you write this instruction RIM at that time you will have to see what is the data which is there with accumulator. And whatever data that is there with accumulator that is been showing status of RIM command. So for example here if I write RIM and after that if you have accumulator is equals to 88 hex it means RIM command that is 88 hex means 1000 0. Let us see what is that RIM command. So RIM command also explains you status of interrupt as well as here we can have serial in data communication. So here see this 7 bits that is showing you status of interrupt and this 1 bit that is been showing you what serial data that we receive. So here how status is been read let us try to understand that. So as if you see this 3 bits M7.5, M6.5, M5.5. So if these bits are masked in that case it will be 1. So here we can mask the bit but if it is showing these bits are 1 in that case you can say respected hardware RST 7.5, RST 6.5, RST 5.5 interrupts were masked over here. This IE that explains you interrupt enable. If it is equals to 1 then you can say interrupt is enabled and if it is equals to 0 then interrupt is disabled. If it is equals to 0 interrupt is disabled what it means no more interrupt can be recognized as if it is generated other than trap interrupt. Now this 3 bits I 7.5, I 6.5, I 5.5 that explains you pending status of interrupt. So if any interrupt is pending then it will be indicated by 1 over here and if you will be having 0 over here you can say respective interrupt is not pending. And as I have told you this is therefore serial in data so that will be indicating what data that we have received if it is equals to 1 you can say we have received 1 over here and if it is equals to 0 you can say we have received 0 over here. So my dear students sim and ream that is having two operations one is for serial communication here by having sim we can transmit serial data and by having ream we can read serial input data to microprocessor. By having sim we can set interrupt commands and by having ream we can read the status of interrupt right now. So that is how these two instructions are there and these two instructions are very essential and for these two instructions my dear students I will be making two separate videos for different case of 
programming one video that i'll make it to generate one square wave by using sim instruction and second video that i'll be making it for serial communication so you just see those two videos that will be next two videos after this in my playlist of microprocessor 8085 definitely you will be learning a lot and your fundamentals get improved after watching those two videos even i hope it is clear to you now thank you so much for watching this video